Have you ever fallen upon a photograph that leaves you scratching your head in disbelief? In this video, we'll unveil 20 mind-boggling snapshots from across the globe. These pictures hold secrets that even smart scientists can't explain. Before we get started, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel to catch our latest spooky videos early. Let's start with the time-traveling hipster. In 1941, there was this pic taken at the South Forks Bridge reopening in Canada. The crowd looks pretty normal for the time, but there's one dude who looks totally out of place. We are talking about modern clothes like a logo t-shirt, a hoodie, and sunglasses, all in a time way before these things were common. Compounding the mystery is a camera that appears technologically advanced for its time. Some speculate that the sunglasses might have been more common than we think, and the logo on the shirt could be a nod to a local hockey team. As for the camera, it's suggested to be a rare antique model. Some say he's a time traveler, while others just think he's a dude who likes to dress wild. People online and even scholars cannot stop chatting about it. This time traveling hipster hasn't revealed his secrets though. Is he from the future? A fashion rebel? Or just a funny trick of the eye? No one is quite sure, but it's a story that's here to stay, making us wonder and talk for ages. Moving on to number two, the 7,000 years old Ubaid Lizardman statues. When people dig up old stuff, they often find things that leave them surprised. One of those things is ancient clay figures found in Iraq. These statues date back to the Ubaid period, which is considered one of the earliest known civilizations in Mesopotamia, around 4,000 to 5,000 BCE. The Ubaid culture predates the Sumerian civilization and is characterized by its distinctive pottery and art style. The statues depict humanoid figures with lizard-like features, such as elongated heads, almond-shaped eyes, and scaly textures. Some of these figures are shown engaged in various activities, like taking care of babies or holding staff, suggesting roles or symbolism in the society of that time. The purpose and significance of these figurines are still a subject of debate among archaeologists and historians. Some theories suggest that these figurines might represent mythological beings or deities, while others propose that they could have been used in religious rituals or as symbols of authority. Due to the limited information available about the Ubaid culture, these interpretations remain speculative. Now let's explore number three, the 1911 airship picture. In 1911, a photo popped up that caused a big fuss. It shows a fancy airship hanging around over the city of Huntington, West Virginia. This airship looks way fancier than what people had back then. The weird part is that no one can find any other proof that this airship existed at all. Just this one picture. The airship in the photo is all sleek and cool, with lots of propellers and space for a bunch of passengers. This is a big deal because back in those days, the only flying craft were small balloons and simple airships. And this photo showed up before anyone in the US even built a big airship like this one. People have all sorts of ideas about this photo. Some think it might be a super smart inventor's secret creation that was way ahead of its time. Others say it could be a prank, someone played, or some early kind of photoshopping trick. Experts checked the photo and did not find any signs of messing around. And to make things even more mysterious, nobody knows who took the picture or why they did it. Transitioning to number four, the 1964 Spaceman photo from Solway Firth. A guy named Jim Templeton was out with his daughter taking pics in England. But when he got the photos developed, he saw something he did not expect, a spaceman looking figure in the background. This spaceman looks tall, dressed in white with a helmet of some sort on its head. Templeton said there was no one else around when he clicked the pic. Even the experts at Kodak and the police could not find any sneaky stuff going on with the film. Some ideas are that maybe this spaceman was Templeton's wife, accidentally caught in the shot. Her blue dress might have looked white because of the camera, and her hair could be the helmet-looking thing. But nobody knows the truth for sure. The next picture will leave you stunned. It's about a monster, but it's not one of those you've already heard about. Number five, the strange Hook Island sea monster photo. So it's not just on land that we find mysteries. The sea has its secrets too. This crazy story happened in 1964. Frenchman Robert Lacarec was on a vacation with his family in Australia. And what's the surprise? He snapped a pic of something eerie in the water. The photo shows this big tadpole looking thing in the shallow water of Stonehaven Bay on Hook Island. It seems to be 70 to 80 feet long. You can see a dark shape underwater with a head, an eye, and a long, twisty body stretching down into the deep parts. Some think it is a plesiosaur, a kind of ancient sea reptile. Others say it might be a super huge eel or some unknown sea thing, but not everyone's convinced. There's a theory that it could be a prank. Perhaps someone placed a massive plastic sheet in the water to create the illusion of a monster. Even with all the doubters, this photo has stuck in people's minds for years. Next, let's delve into number six the famous Patterson-Gimlin film of Bigfoot. In 1967, two people, Roger Patterson and Bob Gimlin, caught something wild on camera in Northern California. 
They say it's Bigfoot, the big hairy creature that people talk about. In the film, you can see this creature walking around in a clearing. Lots of intelligent individuals have looked at the film, but they cannot agree if it's real or not. Some say maybe it's just a person wearing a funny suit. Others think the way this creature moves and looks is more like an unknown kind of ape, not a human. Now, let's unravel number seven, the levitation photo from the 1920s. This was a time when people did not have computers to edit photos, and a photo made a huge splash by showing a guy who seemed to be floating in the air. Sounds like magic, right? In the picture, there's a man named Colin Evans. He was a spiritualist medium who did these seances in the dark. He used a camera flash to light things up, but only for a little bit. In the photo, you can see Evans floating in the air with people looking all surprised around him. Some suggest he might have set up the whole thing, rigging it somehow. They propose that he could have hidden wires or supports to give the appearance of floating. However, some people completely believe in his abilities and consider this photo as genuine evidence of what he was capable of. Number eight, the Nazca Lines in Peru. Imagine looking down from the sky and seeing huge drawings on the ground. The ancient Nazca people made drawings like that in the desert. These drawings are so massive that you can only really see them from high up in the air. But the Nazca people lived almost 2,000 years ago. So what was the purpose of these drawings? Various theories abound. One notion is that these drawings might have been a way to talk to gods or to understand the stars. Alternatively, there's speculation that they could have served as maps for underground water sources. However, these ideas fall short of fully explaining how the Nazca people achieved such large and precise drawings, only visible from high above. Certain individuals even propose that these lines could be landing spots for aliens or huge calendars for stars. The next snapshot is about to take you on a roller coaster ride of mystery and wonder. Trust me, you won't want to miss this. Number nine, the puzzling Voynich manuscript. This old book, named after a guy who got it in 1912, is like a giant mystery waiting to be solved. It's from way back in the 15th century and has drawings that make no sense at all. And the writing in it? Nobody knows what language it is. Inside the book, there are drawings of all sorts of things. Weird plants that do not look like any plants we know, charts about stars and planets that do not match anything we know now, and even drawings of women taking baths. But nobody can figure out what any of it means. People have explored various possibilities. Certain thoughts point to the idea that it could be a book about medicine or crafting magical items. Alternatively, some individuals believe it might be an invented story. However, even the brightest minds have not been able to crack the code of this book. Let's move on to number 10, the fairy circles in Namibia. In a desert called Namib in Africa, there are really weird spots in the grasslands that catch everyone's attention. These spots are like circles of ground where nothing grows, and they are surrounded by short grass. They look like a beehive pattern, and you can see them from above. They come in different sizes, from small to pretty big, and they are all over Namibia. People believe these circles are the footprints of gods, or created by black magic. But scientists have other ideas. They say termites or plants fighting for space are behind these circles, or they could be created by gas coming up from the ground or even radiation, which kills the grass within the circle. Despite all these theories, no one's 100% sure why these circles show up. If you're intrigued by these stunning snapshots, there's more to come. Keep watching as we uncover even more mysterious snapshots. Number 11, the old painting called Madonna with St. Giovannino. This painting is from way back in the 15th century and was made by an Italian artist named Domenico Ghiandaio. But the interesting part is not the main people in the painting, it's what is happening in the background. There is a glowing object in the sky and a guy with his dog is looking up at it. The guy even seems to be covering his eyes, like the thing is super bright two different points of view emerge. Some think this glowing thing might be a UFO, an unidentified flying object. They find significance in the radiant beams of light coming out of it, which makes it even more mysterious. Others view it as a representative of the divine, an angel or the Holy Spirit, stuff that was common in paintings like this. Some even say it could be the star of Bethlehem or a special sign. Number 12, the Antikythera Mechanisms Diagrams. In 1901, they found this ancient gadget in a shipwreck near a Greek island called Antikythera. It's like the world's first computer, but way, way older. This Greek device has gears and stuff, and it's from around 2,000 years ago. And it's got these tricky diagrams and writings on it. This device could tell you when the sky would go dark during an eclipse, or where the stars would move. That's like predicting cosmic stuff way back then. But we are not even sure how those ancient Greeks knew all this. Even with the examination of modern experts, we still do not fully get how it works. Next, let's explore number 13, the Piri Pace map. 
This map, made by a guy named Peary Race in 1513, has made historians and scientists curious. It's a map of the world, focusing on Europe, Africa, and parts of the Americas. But here's the weird part. For a map made in 1513, it's too accurate, especially when detailing parts of South America's coastline. In 1513, people did not know much about the Americas. But this map? It's like it had secret information. It even shows Antarctica without ice, which has not happened for millions of years. How could Peary Race have known all this? Theories abound. Some propose that Peary Race got his info from different sources, some of which were super old and do not exist anymore. Maybe there were maps from an ancient civilization that knew a lot about the world. But there are doubters, too. They think maybe the Antarctica part is just made up or that Peary Race mixed up some things in South America. Continuing to number 14, the stone spheres of Costa Rica. Deep in the thick rainforests of Costa Rica, there's something super intriguing. Stone balls. It may sound silly, but these perfect round rocks, some as small as a few inches and others as big as two meters across, have been driving experts crazy for ages. People have all sorts of ideas about where they came from and what they were used for. These spheres are so perfectly made that even scientists cannot figure out how ancient people managed them. They are made from a really hard rock called granodiorite, which makes their creation even more astonishing. Nobody's quite sure why these spheres were made either. Some think they might have been used for important stuff like studying the stars or doing religious rituals. Others think they might have been like signs to show where to go or to mark borders. Some people even wonder if these spheres are leftovers from an ancient lost civilization or if they came from outer space. The people in Costa Rica think these spheres are pretty special and important to their history. They are even on a list of special places by UNESCO. Moving on to number 15, the super tiny Nampa figurine discovery. Workers digging a water well in Idaho found an itty bitty clay figure back in 1889. It looks like a little lady. This tiny thing was found way, way deep, like 300 feet down and the layers of dirt around it are about two million years old. That's before anyone thought humans were hanging around in that area. But not everyone's on the same page. One perspective is that this figure could mean there were smart ancient people way back then. Another perspective is that maybe it's just something that got mixed up during drilling, or maybe a newer thing got stuck in old dirt over time. So whether it's proof of ancient civilization or just a mix-up, this Nampa figurine is like a puzzle piece that does not fit, and it makes scientists and history buffs scratch their heads, it's one of those things that keeps us wondering about what might be hidden under the ground. Number 16, the Dyatlov Pass Incident. In 1959, nine experienced hikers in Russia went on a trip to the mountains, but something terrifying happened. They all died in a way that no one could explain. The hikers had cameras and the pictures they took added to the mystery. In one of the photos, you can see a blurry figure near the trees. People call it the Yeti picture, like a pic of a Bigfoot. Another photo taken on their last night shows this weird light or ball of sorts in the dark sky. These pictures make it even more haunting. Various speculations have arisen regarding the possible events that occurred. Maybe it was secret army stuff. Or maybe the locals attacked them. Or maybe supernatural events took place. Nobody knows for sure. Let's dive further into number 17, a photo of Billy the Kid from the 1870s. Someone bought a photo for just two bucks in 2010. They said it's Billy the Kid, the famous outlaw, and his gang playing a game of croquet. This could be a super big deal. There's only one other picture that everyone agrees shows Billy the Kid. So, if this new pic is real, it could be worth millions. But a majority are not sure if it's him. Some say computer programs that recognize faces see a match between the guy in this photo and the guy in the known Billy picture. People argue about the scene a lot, too. Playing croquet back then was kind of fancy. And Billy was more of an outlaw type. Some say it doesn't make sense for him to be playing a game like that. While some remain doubtful, this picture has got everyone interested. There's even a documentary about it. You won't believe what's lurking just around the corner. The next picture will have you on the edge of your seat. Number 18, the Eileen Moore Lighthouse story. There's a lighthouse on an island near Scotland, and in 1900, three experienced lighthouse keepers were stationed there, but one day they just vanished. During the investigation, they found a photo from the lighthouse. In the picture, you see one of the keepers, Thomas Marshall, looking all worried. And in the background, there's a storm brewing. It's like the photo was saying something bad was coming. The lighthouse's logbook talked about really bad weather, and this photo seems to match that. The picture seems to show a disaster about to happen. Perhaps they were swept away by the storm, with this final haunting photo as the only proof. Edging closer to our second last photo, the Fresno Nightcrawlers. In California, there is a video from the late 2000s that shows these weird short white things walking on a lawn. But they do not seem to have a body or arms. And it does not stop there. 
Another video shows a similar thing in Yosemite National Park. These creatures are like walking legs with no body, and they are super weird. Nobody really knows what they are. Let's wrap things up with the mysterious beach photo of 1930. An old picture from the 1930s shows folks chilling on a beach in Canada. Amongst the people rocking the regular beach outfits of the time, there's this one guy who is standing out. People call him the surfing time traveler. Why? Because this man looks like he's from now, not then. He's wearing a modern t-shirt with a picture and shorts, and his hair is styled in a way that screams 2020, not the 1930s. People wondered, did that guy travel through time? But then other ideas popped up. Some people think his t-shirt might be a rolled up sweater and his shorts could be pants rolled up, stuff that was common back then. And his hair, maybe it just got messy from the wind or being wet, not a cool style choice. But even with these explanations, people keep talking about this photo and trying to figure it out. From ancient mysteries to strange creatures and unexplainable phenomena, these snapshots from across the globe truly leave us with a sense of wonder and curiosity. What do you think about these puzzling photos? Which one intrigued you the most? Are there other mysteries you've encountered that make you scratch your head? Share your thoughts in the comments section and join the conversation about these fascinating snapshots. And do not forget to like and subscribe to catch more captivating stories in the future.